Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today has been one of those roller coaster days, ups and downs, some emotional frustration at the same time, some gratification and some reassurance that maybe there is some good in this world. It's been a very wow type of day. And uh, I want to preface this by telling everybody that I'm going to be doing a, a talk right here in Houston at Ben Taub Hospital in the basement. Uh, it's going to be part of the HCMA event that's going to be on the 14th of September at 5.30 p.m. in the basement. And we're going to be covering social media and the future of Biomed because there is going to be much more social media in the future of Biomed. And what I'm going to talk to you guys today about is definitely one of those key points. I wasn't going to talk about this uh, to the group, but now, since this has now affected me twice in my career, it's going to be part of the talk that I'm going to tell everybody down here at the Texas Medical Center. Um, and that is going to be how social media can and will affect your career. Well, guys, let's start right out by saying, uh, I'm going to call this video, um, what should I call it? Bad news, good news. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bad news, good news. And the reason I'm going to call it that is because at first, my day started out very dramatically. Um, I've been waiting because I will put it out there that I'm looking, you know, for some new employment. I'm looking at a couple opportunities and they're... The ones that I've talked to are extremely, I get really, I'm, if you can't tell, I'm like 120% invested in this, right? I get very excited about some of these possibilities. I understand some of them aren't going to work out. Some of them I really hope are going to work out. And then, you know, you get a call like I did today or a text message more like, and it's like, they tell you that you are not going to be considered for the position because of something you said in one of your videos. That's serious, guys. Now, if you guys remember, a while back, I said in one of my videos that somebody contacted my uh, HR at my hospital and they tried to get me fired because there was an electrical hazard in the room and the doctor told me to leave but propofol was still dripping inside the electrical equipment that was still plugged in. The doctor wheeled it away a couple feet and uh, she told me to leave and I said, sorry ma'am, I can't do that. I need to stay where that equipment is. And uh, you know, throughout the story that I, I told you guys about, I went ahead and cleaned up the propofol and I helped her clear the area, make it safe. But she asked me to leave twice and I, I wouldn't until the area was considered safe because everybody else in the operating room, everybody else, just wanted to push the case forward. Nobody wanted to address the fact that there was an electrical hazard in the room. And I, I don't stand for that, guys. Not at all. Um, so anyway, a doctor contacted my HR department and thought that I was being insubordinate to doctors and uh, asked them, is this really the kind of person that you want working for your organization? And uh, tried to get me fired. It's true. And the interesting part of that is that I didn't mention where I worked. I didn't mention the doctor's name. I didn't mention the operating rooms. Other than an operating room, I I didn't say anything. Um, it's just the facts. I mean, the fact are is that I was asked to leave twice. I absolutely wouldn't do it. And, you know, I stood my ground and we, we got it taken care of properly. And we did an incident investigation on the equipment, uh, a proper one, because a patient was in the room when there was an electrical hazard. We don't know if the patient was affected or not. All we can do is properly report this, the facts of what happened. So anyway, that was a long time ago. That was the first time I was affected by social media. And now, today, would be the second time. Because uh, I was told that I would not qualify or they weren't gonna consider me for a position. And it was because in one of my videos, I said that I was demoted. Was I really demoted? Not really. I still have the same title. Um, but I was removed from my team and I was brought down and given a new area of responsibility, which that area of responsibility has ballooned. Like compared to the four people I was responsible for before, that was a lot of fours in a sentence. 
Now I'm responsible for well over half the facility, personally. So, I mean, maybe, maybe I was removed because I had a personal issue, or not a personal issue, I stood my ground on a patient safety issue. And it was a very serious one. And it was a line in the sand moment. This is one of those, I'm going to pack my tools up and I'm leaving type of situation because it, I, it's, there's certain things that are against my core. And this one was a patient safety issue. And it's, it's a patient safety issue that I had um, a Rasmus on, on my desk. Okay. I had the Rasmus. I opened up the equipment. I seen the hazard. I documented it with video and with photos and I reported it. I said, this is an emergency. We need to take care of this. And my management at the time disagreed and said it was not my job. I have that on video, guys. I have the whole argument on video because I knew that it wasn't going to be good. So anyway, that brings us to today. I was honest. Guys, I have like 300 and some videos. I'm If I'm not the most documented biomed in the world, show me somebody who's more documented. You know who I am as a person. You guys generally have an idea of who I am as a technician. And you should have a pretty good idea of my disposition too. I, I am not the most serious person in the world, but at the same time, what is business, business. All right? Um, I'd like to think that usually I have a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. But sometimes I've been proven completely wrong. So uh, that was the bad news part. I got a text message this morning that says I was no longer being considered for a position. I respect that they even contacted me to let me know that, by the way. I, I appreciate that. So anyway, um, it's all because of that one video and because I said I was being demoted. You would think that after somebody has like 300 and some videos, maybe you would ask why. Why? Why did you say this in one of your videos? <laughs> the thing is, um, have you guys ever worked for a manager that uh, nurses complained or something and they didn't ask you why? Why did this nurse complain or something? They just took their word for it completely. Have you ever worked for somebody like that? I am worried, very worried that this person that denied me might be one of those type of people you know, never ask why. Why? Ask, give, give both sides of the story, right? You never know, man. But on the lighter note of the story, it was only like an hour or two later that this other company that I, I've got a long history with working with, and um, it's a company that I, I have always enjoyed. Um, they wrote me back and said, uh, Justin, we haven't forgot about you, man. Um, we'd like to talk to you next week and you know my morning I was having a low morning but I I guys I'm not gonna bring up religion or anything but I'll tell you I am one of those people that believes everything happens for a reason and uh, I, I do sometimes believe in karma too you know um, even though I don't believe that like you should be nice to people so that you get something nice back I, I don't believe in that kind of karma but Anyway, uh, all I can tell you guys is that I was judged based on the keyword that I said I was demoted in a video. Uh, somebody didn't ask why. They just pressed on uh, that I, you know, he's not even worth talking to. And uh, then this other company uh, that I've, <laughs> I've been very anxious. Anybody that's, that works with me now knows that, like, Justin's been waiting to hear from these guys and he's been very anxious. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm one of these people that if, if there's a new stage in your life and you know it's going to hit, that like, let's do this. I, I'm a jump jump in and let's, let's get this happening type of guy. If you can't tell, like I get very invested into things. And um, the fact that he, they even wrote me and said that we're still thinking of you, uh, it meant the world to me today. In a day that I, I just was not, you know, feeling too hyped up after I found out my career was affected a second time because of social media. But anyway, guys, um, this is one of the things I'm going to talk about to the guys at TMC is uh, if you get into social media, the chance that your career is going to be affected is very realistic because here, here's twice, tw 
twice that it has affected me for sure. And um, I'm one of those guys, I don't let anything really get me down. Not at all. Because I'm going to charge ahead and I've got backup plans to backup plans to backup plans. And that's whether I'm working on something at work or if I'm here with my personal life. Like I'm, I'm telling you right now, um, nothing will get me down. I'm going to press forward and, and if anything, I'm going to come back twice as hard. And just a little minder for you guys out there that people do see social media posts and it's very easy for people to perceive something that you never intended. And that's just the reality we have to live with. So I think I've used uh, more of your time than I was expecting, guys, at 10 minutes, 30 seconds. So uh, thank you all for watching. Just a little reminder that everybody does see these videos and you never know who's going to be watching. And today was a bad news, good news day. It's been a good day. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.